Dave Narona, professional adventurer here with us. Tamara, our producer, just said to me, hey, you look like the guy from Up with this backpack. <laughs> yep, we're going to demonstrate this for good reason, but uh, backcountry, uh, the gear that we need if we're going to head that way, tell us all about it. That's right. Well, the first and foremost, if you are going into the backcountry, whether you're snowshoeing or skiing, snowboarding or snowmobiling, you need sort of the 10 essentials. And those are like a compass, fire starter, an extra jacket and toque, of course, helmet, goggles, all those things that you kind of use whenever you go hiking in, in the summertime. Um, moving along though when we go into the backcountry we want communication devices so those are radios and things that we can communicate in case we get get separated. And I, want, I want to show the, uh, the the front of this to show uh, how you can call for help if need Right be. and this is an in reach this is probably everybody who goes into the backcountry should have this winter or summer and this is actually a direct link to 911 so if you get into trouble or someone else is into trouble you hit one button and it goes to a call center that goes to 911 search and rescue but also what I use it is when I'm not out with my wife I can let her know all day how I'm doing with one okay message from one button so they're not worrying all day they know where I am they get a, a map of where I am and so it makes it very realistic and very easy and, and less worry for your, your, your wife partners. follows you everywhere now <laughs> she does yeah <laughs> so thing. and then when we're moving into um, winter time these are the essential these are the essential pieces you need to have when you go into the backcountry so this is an avalanche transceiver mm -hmm. everybody who goes into the backcountry would wear one they send out a signal and if someone gets buried we actually can switch to search and find that one signal so this allows you to find people when they're buried under the snow because obviously we can't see them and what are we looking at investment side I mean uh, gear is one thing but especially the communication tools they're key it, they're not very expensive at all so an in reach is about three hundred dollars when we look at beacons they start at uh, 250 and go up to 500 mm -hmm. probes and shovels start at about 50 or 60 dollars so it really isn't that expensive but it's necessary gear that that, that, that makes you a responsible backcountry user not just having it but knowing how to, to use it. This is a probe. This is when we when we pin when we find you where you are located in the snow. Mm -hmm. This probe actually goes into a long pole, yeah. and we use that to probe down to pinpoint exactly where you are. Let's get the measurements on the seat there. Yeah. Right. Then we get into the shovel because we need to dig out. Yeah. So we have two shovels here from from BCA, and this one is actually looks normal. This one here is works it's more like a, a hoe. So people think that you dig down, but that's actually not very efficient. You actually want to pull snow away because you want to get that person first and exactly. foremost their head you want to uncover their their uh, their breathe so they can breathe and then we're going to dig the rest of them out okay. so these all are, are designed to be very efficient very lightweight so they fit in your in your backpack which is a must-have and talking about backpacks this is a Stay backpack from right there. Uh, ABS yep. um, they've been making backpacks since 1985 that have basically airbags in them so if you get caught in an avalanche they airbags pop out and make you bigger so it works on inverse segregation which is if you shake a, a mixed nuts yeah. the big ones always rise to the top and the smaller ones ro go to the bottom so this will make you a bigger nut just so if you pull, just pull that handle pull that pull that it's handle. not gonna explode on my back is it it's gonna explode on your back here we go pull the trigger I think I got my Halloween costume for 2015 right there. <laughs> there you go. So you just have improved your volume by 170 liters, which will allow you to float up on top of an avalanche if you're ever caught. You never want to be caught in an avalanche no matter what. Yeah. This is the last resort. So using the education, being smart about travel, and then if something bad happens, this is why you have uh, an ABS backpack on because it, it floats up. And um, every backcountry user should be using using this type of and, gear. And you know, what's the best time when we look at how mild the temperatures have been? Some people say there's no new snow on the local mountains, but uh, when is the best time to hit the backcountry? What are the keys to consider? Well, I, I mean, I go out every day, and it's been a trying year because um, we've had less snow, but there is lots of snow up, up top, and spring is a really popular time because the weather's good, the days are longer, but what ha people have to remember is all those layers that were kind of troublesome at the beginning are now, because the snow's melting, are starting to come to the forefront again. So backcountry travel is really important to check the avalanche forecast, yep. make sure you have all your education and all your gear and make sure that you're going with like-minded people meaning that if someone wants to just chase the big run of the day that those aren't usually the best people to travel with it's it's make it, it a consensus in your group so that everybody has fun and everybody comes home safely at the end of the day that's the most important keep everyone in the know and communicate with those that know you're heading up to the mountain great uh, information Dave yeah thanks for having me on. As always all right I like this backpack here makes me feel like I got a superpower avalanche.ca great website uh, for uh, important information for you.